Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the Smart Charts After Effects template. In the downloaded zip file, you will find two After Effects projects. One utilizes CSV spreadsheets to update the data and the data labels in all of these charts. And then another project file is included that just runs on, uh, it's just called Expressions. And that one is all just native After Effects. Um, and you will customize the data with text layers. Um, and we'll show you that a little later in this video. If we take a look in the project panel, all of the charts are uh, numbered and labeled. And in each of their folder, you'll find the composition and the CSV file that is coded into the animation. In the render composition, all of the chart animations are already laid out in the timeline. Um, it's very easy just to uh, replace them or move them uh, or delete them if you don't need them in your own video. All the animations share the same background color um, from the render composition. So if you just click on the background color layer and go to the effects controls panel, uh, this one uses a four color gradient effect and you just use the color pickers to change the colors for the background. So let's take a look at the first chart, the pie chart data around circle composition. Um, you're going to double click on that composition in the project panel to open it. All of the charts in this project are uh, basically set up the same way. You'll find the CSV file actually in the timeline. Um, all of the data layers are hard coded to the data maximum number of data sets that are available in the CSV file. So we're using Excel to uh, customize a CSV. And an important note about all of these CSV files is um, do not change these two cells in a row one. If you change those labels, there's really no need to change them. Um, if you have your own CSV file, just copy and paste the data into this one. It's just to make things easier. Adding more data sets to the CSV file does not create more data sets in After Effects. After Effects doesn't make more shape layers and text layers um, without just maybe scripting. So the maximum number of data sets that you find in each CSV is the maximum number that you'll be able to use for the project. So if you don't have 10 data sets, you can just use four or five. And if you do that, just go ahead and type zero for the data. Um, it doesn't hurt anything and After Effects won't get confused if it finds that cell blank in After Effects. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and we're going to have one, two, three, four data sets. And then we're just going to do Command S to save it. And we'll go back to After Effects. And it's made the changes. And as you can see, there's still uh, some text layers visible. If you go to the pie chart controls layer, then go to the effects controls panel, look for, look for the slider uh, labeled number of data sets and then make that change here and that will remove those other text layers. So each chart is basically set up just like this. There are controls uh, layers near the top of the timeline and each of them uh, are labeled. For example, this one you can control the colors uh, and this one you can control the positions of the text layers. So each chart is different. They all have different controls depending on how it's designed. So the pie chart controls panel has a few controls that you wouldn't find in other charts. So for example, the pie chart has a text layer in the middle of the chart that is coded with expressions to display the total amount of the pie chart. So that number in the middle is actually adding up all your data that you've uh, chosen to show here in the pie chart. And you can simply just turn it off by clicking the checkbox. To change the fonts for any of the text layers, um, just select the layer, then go to the character panel and you can change the fonts and colors there. To change the fonts, on the text layers around the circle. You just click this, the shy switch here and it will reveal all of the hidden layers. And then you can just select those text layers all at once and change the fonts in the character panel. The charts also have a prefix and suffix that you can add 
um, to the left or the right of the data numbers. So for example, in the pie chart, we have a K to indicate a thousand, so 400K, 300K. If you wanted to change that, just double click on the prefix, or sorry, the suffix text layer, and we'll type M for millions, and then go to the prefix text layer, and you'll see that there's it's blank, there's nothing there because we don't have anything yet. If you double click on that, and we're gonna use a dollar sign, this will add a dollar sign before all of the numbers. And one more thing I forgot to mention that if you also change the labels, uh, those will update in After Effects as well. And then just hit Command S to save it. Let me come back to After Effects and wait for it to uh, update and there you go. For the country statistic chart, if you go to the project panel and go to the country percent folder, uh, you'll see a composition labeled your country here. And if you double click to open that up, the project comes with 36 country uh, vector images and they're all listed here inside this composition. And you would just select the text and map controls layer and then go to the effects controls panel and use a slider to change the country. And if you don't see your country here, uh, you can import your own image, drag it into this composition and turn off this pre-comp, the most visited countries. If you just turn that off, import your image into this composition, it will appear the final animation. So now let's take a look at the expressions only version of this project. I'm going to open that. And if we take a look at that same pie chart, just gonna double click that comp to open it up. You'll see that it's basically the same. You'll see that the design is the same, except you're going to change your data um, in these text layers. So once you change all the data, you'll see that some of the text layers are overlapping each other or too far away. And you can change all of those text positions um, inside the effects controls panel. And then to change the labels for each data set, you'll just select the text layer itself and then uh, just double click and change that text layer.